disclaimer before I start the video. I host streams on a daily, doing 1v1 practices or 1v1 wars for fun. If you guys want to, you know, practice your skill or show me you your skill. Because, you know, I like seeing different people have different skills and it's kind of interesting. So you guys can give yourself a shout out. Or if you want to do RNG practices or you want to learn how to play RNG or you want to play RNG with me, you can just add right there on the top left. But yet, yeah, let's get into straight into. What is up people who have a life? What is up my running gunners? What is up my furry motors? So y'all clicked on the video today to learn how to play like a pro, like Fog's Ray, really Dark Fears, Stepful. So I'm gonna give you the basic tips that no one ever tells anyone. And which I don't see. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh he has fast run, he has fast run, but look, let me be honest with you. I'm gonna do another tutorial in the same video on how to play without fast run. But look, the same people who complain about fast run are the same people who play on five megs. Get rid of your ego, bro, and just stop. But look, so tip number one I'm going to give you is your camera. Your camera is the number one thing that needs to be adjusted and plays a big part on how you catch bodies. So as you can see, I have it tilted. So I can see a corner. See, look, I can see just a little bit. And predictions. And if you know certain maps, you can control the spawns. Don't always like say like you have a whole what bunch of teammates just like running over there. Just know your enemy is gonna spawn right over here. A lot of them. And that's how you MVP. So second tip I'm gonna give you is actually aiming. So you're gonna aim diagonally up to the left. I know they say aim up, but buddy, you miss most of your shots. I'm just gonna be honest with you. They don't tell you this for some reason. I have no clue why, but okay, let me see if I can get some pedestrians for you guys. I have some pedestrians for you guys. Um, look, you're going to aim diagonally up. Diagonally up to the left. And you're going to go... Look, my setting is very low right now. Because I was playing free mode. But this is a very important part. You have to practice your switch skills with this. It's not going to come in handy. Like, those people have been playing for a while, as you see. I haven't been practicing, I haven't been playing RNG for a while. But this will definitely make you a pro. Aiming diagonally up to the left. And you have to be very fast with it. So if you play with fast one, you might have to be a little bit more quicker, as you can see. Uh, just start with the capture job that Fonchway has started. Next tip I have for you guys is your own setting, bro. Your own set of settings, bro, okay? Look, my controller's messed up, so I'll start doing that. Um, I literally play on third-person aiming sensitivity. One bar down, okay? I'm going to tell you why in a bit second. But in my dead zone, and my suggestion, if you have a damage controller, don't put your dead zone all the way down. This will really mess up your aim. Since GTA is a bad game and it really needs to be updated, I want to suggest going to sweat. And go to button assignments. So I know people like Dark Lord or certain RNG people still play with standard FPS too. They'll either switch L2, the aiming button, with L1. I tried this and it works, but I'm honestly not going to do this because it's going to stick to a muscle memory. When I try to play free mode, I can't spam a certain way or, you know, it's just going to mess me up in the long run. But it, you don't have to do standard FPS2 all the time. I know people that play on alternate and they still body. Playing claw on standard FPS2 will help you aim diagonally up to the left way more often. As you can see, I need to practice a little more. Which will come in handy, bro. You have to practice, bro. And I'm telling you. Right? Other tip for you is control freaks. So the uh, control freaks I recommend for running gun. You don't need a modded controller or anything. It's galaxy. Um, and this may come in with your height because it depends on how big your thumb is and how big your hand is So if you're over six foot the galaxy may have a comfort problem on your thumb But you'll just get used to it because you know your hand is bigger, but if you're under six foot the infernos 
But I say the Infernals is more of a free mode because you know you have a little more space. But I just like the Galaxy Dust control. It's like very like if I go like this, look. like you see how it's stopping while I'm flicking. It's gonna be very handy in sniping. Don't worry, bro. Literally, don't care about your KD. If you want to become a pro RNG player, do not care about your KD. This will actually stop you from becoming the greatest running gun player. And literally, most of the greatest running gun players get so salty when they see someone underground or someone not even, they never heard of, start to MVP. This usually happens to me when I start to MVP sometimes. I usually get kicked out of TDM. But I really don't care because, you know, I'm just like, but I'll just play something else. This game's like seven years old or eight years old, bro. You have to understand to let go of your ego. No one cares about clips. No one cares about this, bro. Just have fun. This is why the game is dying, bro. I'm just going to be honest with you. This is why the game is dying. I want to say use lag switch. So my other tip on how to counter laggy players is always make the move before they do. So I wouldn't say use a lag switch, but... I mean, honestly, if the dude is lagging so bad, it depends on where you're playing. So if y'all both playing in the U.S., bro, y'all should have a clean fight. Do not use no X lag. Come on now. It's 2021. Mobile hotspot is the best. Um, I think you can counter booting on there. And also, don't be toxic, bro. Just don't be toxic. Have your own play style, bro. Don't be toxic. So don't copy my play style, you know. See, some people have their cameras like this because it helps them. And this kind of does help for pistols. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Have your camera just a little bit down. But I like to have my camera like this because I've been rolling like this and you know I literally smack players. It's gonna be a funny tip, but bro, your outfit, okay? Your outfit, bro, is just gonna make you stand out more and having a signature outfit. And if you want to become a running gun YouTuber, literally keep grinding. That's all I gotta say. Hard work and keep grinding. You can promote your channel if you want, but do not do that as much. You will get shadow banned. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, but yeah. But you still need to diagonally aim up to the left. Or what I mean about what I mean by this is like like this. You don't want to be aiming up cuz you will miss your shots. Because when you're strafing, you will miss your shots. And before you sidestep, so this is another tip to sidestep. You want to hit, you know, your L3. But make sure you make your own settings that you feel good with it. That's what makes pop out unique. Uh, the granny walk. We call this the granny walk. This is very deadly. Shout out to Hostile. If you're still here, bro. My boy Hostile. He's really good. You know, he's retired. GG's. The granny walk will, ooh, the granny walk will just come in handy, and I'm done. Just, I will not suggest you to copy another man's playstyle because you will just like, in the long run, not even know what to do in your own situation. You can't think like that person. I'm gonna be honest with you. You think your own way, bro. The aim diagonally left. So look, if I'm gonna do that while he's walking to the left side, it's not gonna work. But that's why you want to keep watching this video. So now I'm gonna aim diagonally to the right. So, so you get the point. So if they're going to the left side, I'm going to aim diagonally left. And they're going to the right side, I'm going to aim diagonally right. Okay? Um, your switch kills, you're going to honestly need to practice that. Right now I'm back on my slow run account. So, I mean, character. Okay? This one has slow run. Um, and your AR. I say, um, use no suppressor sometimes but i really find that when i have a suppressor on my special carbines the switch kills look nice so but this is really good when it comes to cvc's uh pvp and free mode and gangbang ars because you know it's the damage you can hear that it's the damage you feel me you want to like let go so you know how you roll you want to let go it's going to give you like the outside of the camera view so hold up I mean, come on, man. Let me just chase after these dudes. Oh, I slow runs annoying. See? Oh, but you'll see what I'm talking about. If you ever watch Dark Fears clips, or several clips, or they'll have like literally like this, like something like 
something like that so as you can see like how my camera just like X's out that will help you in the long run um back rolling too rolling back will also help uh the most accurate ar that can do really deadly damage is the ar if you're very accurate with it so so that'll actually wrap it up for today's video so if you honestly learn something leave a comment and like subscribe you feel me but bro if you want me to drop a part two because i have more tips that you probably don't even know or if you want me to train you or if you want to do rng 1v1s or whatever bro you want to do rng servers or bro whatever bro it's whatever bro just add me bro don't be shy bro add me bro if you want to do youtube collabs or whatever bro if you want to see stay to this 10 minutes long you are real bro but peace